Hello everyone, this is Gary Jenkins. This is Bermondsey Weekly Message. Beautiful words from the beautiful book. Huge preparations are taking place in Southwark Park today and all along the riverside for the enormous queue that is expected for the lying in state of Her Late Majesty the Queen. A queue that may stretch from Westminster to Bermondsey. And surely that indicates the huge affection in which our late Queen is held. The huge sense of shock and grief that the whole nation, the whole Commonwealth, the whole world is experiencing. And also the huge sense of thanksgiving that we all have for a life that's been lived so well. For a Queen who has served for 70 years with great faithfulness, dignity, reliability and commitment to the whole nation. She has been the leader of our nation. She has been the head of our nation. She has been the mother of our nation. And we all give thanks to God for such a queen, for such a servant queen, for the way that she lived and the way she reigned. When her body is carried into Westminster Abbey next Monday, words will be, be spoken over her dead body, which is spoken over the body of every person who comes to the Church of England for their funeral. They will be words of Jesus. They will be words of defiance in the face of death. They will be words of victory. They will be words of hope and encouragement in the face of death. We will hear these words from Jesus. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. As we reverently commit her body to the ground, we know that our Queen is safe with the Lord she served. She has gone to the home of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And like all those who belong to him at the last day, she will be raised. We thank God for such a Queen as we've had. We thank God for our resurrection faith. We thank God that all Christian people have hope in the face of death because Jesus died and rose again and tells us that he is the resurrection and the life. So over these next few days, our thoughts will be very much of Her Late Majesty. Our prayers will be for her family. We will truly regard ourselves to have been blessed to have had such a monarch, such a sovereign. May God comfort her family and may God strengthen our new King Charles III. God save the King. <laughs>